In December 2005, there was a massive explosion at the Bunsfield Fuel Storage Depot in Hamel Hempstead. 43 people were injured. Uh, miraculously, no one was killed in the incident, though 2,000 people had to be evacuated from around the site, and the site was completely devastated. It burned for five days. As a result of that, five companies were prosecuted by the Health and Safety Executive and the Environment Agency. So what was HSE's involvement in the investigation? HSE, along with its joint regulator, the Environment Agency, launched possibly the, com the most complex and lengthy investigation of its sort in this country. Uh, it used a vast array of resources from scientific technical skills, operational inspectors, using our health and safety laboratories, and using resources like the Home Office to mount an investigation to find out what caused this incident. Can you explain how the COMA regulations work? COMA stands for the Control of Major Accident Hazard Regulations. It applies to those industries that hold certain quantities of substances that can give rise to major fires, explosions, releases of toxic substances. The sorts of things that can kill and injure a lot of people at once or can damage the environment. These regulations require operators of these sites to prepare safety cases, which are effectively their demonstration of how they manage those risks and how they undertake their operations safely. So what did the investigation conclude? Was there anyone to blame? Yes, we concluded that there were five organisations that were responsible for the Bunsfield incident. We pros prosecuted all five in the courts. Can HSC make sure that this never happens again? The first thing to say there is it is the operator's responsibility to make sure that they manage their operations safely. They are best placed to do it and that's where the law puts the responsibility. We, Health and Safety Executive and our partners, the Environment Agency, have a responsibility for regulating those industries. What we've done is work with the industry to learn the lessons from Bunsfield, to make sure that we understand what caused it, to then mount a programme that where companies that were operating Bunsfield type installations would improve their systems. And we hope that companies take the lessons from this incident about leadership, about competence, about making sure that their organisations are fit for purpose so that these sorts of events never happen again.